Now we're going to kind of get into the Eastern Conference. We're going to start with your Boston Bruins. Hold on. Since the purple bucket hat is toast, okay. my buddy Keith gave me this because he heard the podcast. And as soon as I came over and saw him the other day, he goes, get rid of that fucking purple hat because they lost the first day you had it. So this is what he gave me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did Look he buy at that, that. Or is that just laying around in his basement? I have no idea. It doesn't smell like his basement because his basement's pretty ripe. But shout out to my buddy Keith. This is the uh, the new Bruins hat. The new Bruins hat. You guys are going to rally around that until, I don't know, we're going to see what ends up happening. I mean, it, it was kind of a, a touch and go thing. You Bruins fans, I'm going to say it, you were in a panic. You might not fucking admit it, but you and Hal were mildly a little, a little bit panicked by the performance that they put on. And what game was it? Game two. Game two. Um, they played the worst game of the year out of all 82, quite easily. possibly. So game one, Boston won 3-1. Game two, Florida won 6-3. Boston was able to rebound and take two in Florida. They won 4-2, and then today they won 6-2. Uh, I put a reverse jinx on Taylor Hall. I don't yep, know if you guys remember that in our or group. not. Yep. He leads the Bruins in playoff goals with four. Dmitry Orlov, uh, trade deadline pickup. He has five assists, and Taylor Hall is leading your team in points. He's got seven of them. For Tuesday, uh, with six points in four games. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's looked really good. This has been an interesting series, man. Like, there's definitely no love lost. Um it's been a high hitting McAvoy's just hitting everybody. <laughs> like he he is and he probably should be on the map anyway. Original six team, big market. And I just I'm telling you how I feel. Just I see the league a lot. His name's not really ever mentioned with top defensemen. It is by you guys because you're Bruins fans and like you watch him every time. I'm hoping that this playoff run starts getting him the credibility that he deserves because he he's a game changer on the back end. Not only because he can pitch in offensively. But he's he's a motherfucker to play against. So he's looked really good. And he he hunts contact. <clears throat> you know yeah. he looks for contact. But the thing is, he doesn't get the he doesn't get the love for the Norris. But in every Team USA thing, he's always in the top four. Yeah, no, for so, sure. And, you know, and this isn't a new thing either. If you remember, I think it was back in the bubble when he fucking killed Jordan Stahl. Like this yeah. guy's he he likes throwing the body around. Um, I mean, <laughs> they're the fucking bees and and there might've been a little bit of a panic because they did play the worst game. Like that was really, really bad. And I don't think they particularly played a good first game either. Like I thought that well, they, they won with a C plus game is what everybody yeah. was saying after game um, one. You so know, it was and, a C but, plus game, C plus effort. And they still won. The highlight of the game was Bertuzzi stealing cousin stick yep. in game one. Um, they, there was a lot of talk after tonight's game by a number of players saying in, in everybody alluded to playing between the whistles only. Mm -hmm. And I think it was telling because it's clearly the mindset is that Florida, you know, they're the eighth seed. They want to muck it up. They want to get on the power play. They want to drag players down. Marshawn does not. I mean, uh, Gudis dry humped him for a good 30 seconds and Marshawn didn't even respond. Doesn't have a single penalty minute the whole series where the way it's going five years ago, Marshawn would have had two 10 minutes already. Yeah, no, for sure. And they are playing and you can see because Kachuk's a rat. You already kind of knew that. And but, like, I've seen him go at Coyle a few times, and Coyle just kind of, like, li- laughs it off. Um, I'm trying to look this up really quick. Nah, oh, when, when Did you see – I don't know if you saw when we were, we were texting during this when Kachuk cross-checked Hathaway at the end of the period and got him in the kidney. Well, Bennett, on the reverse angle, Bennett came out and gave him a quick cup check when he was in the bottom of the pile. Yeah. I, so so Sam, just, Bennett, Sam Bennett is, to me, probably Florida's most important player. Obviously, Kachuk's played very well, but Bennett has been great. Longberg's been not a factor. No. Speaking of not a factor, in three games played, only two assists. The most underrated player in the league, Alex Barkov, just not doing anything. Yeah, that's what I said. Did he go? I said to that to you guys today. Did he go from underrated to overrated in the span of twelve months? Yeah, it's it's. You can make it, the yeah. argument. <laughs> it's kind of concerning, honestly. It wasn't something I think any of us really expected. If you look, if you look at his stats in the playoffs, twenty nine games played, six goals, seventeen assists for twenty three points. I mean, not everybody's going to be a point per game player, but. In a series where you're playing the best team ever, right? Like you could argue, to not show up as a captain, yeah, it's it's just not good. Um, so I don't know. I thought maybe Bobrovsky would have given them, you know, a little bit of a spark. It clearly didn't work out the way that we thought it would. It, the, well, Bobrovsky played just like I thought he would play. Yeah, and uh, hand up. I was wrong about Charlie Coyle. Charlie Coyle's looked really, really, really good for you guys. 
I think no everybody... Bergeron, no Krejci, and they lost Allmark for the last four <laughs> minutes when he got tossed, and they still got the dub. So I don't know if it was an Artex, but I was talking to Hal. He, I think he thinks Olmark might be a little bit hurt, a little bit banged up. I don't know if that's a thing that's actually happening. That They're just, saying he's been a game-time decision for the last few games. So, And I would think, based on how he's playing, there's something going on with Pasternak as well. But I don't know that for certain. That's just yeah. my own guess. Yeah, it could be. Um, but, yeah, the Bruins are up 3-1 in the series. Do you have anything else? No, they can uh, sw- they can uh, wrap it up on Wednesday night. They got a nice little break. I don't know why they did that, but. It worked I out did, for me. I saw that too. The Rangers don't play for a bit after uh, tomorrow as well. So yeah. So yeah. hey, I'll take it. Um. All right. So that's what we got for the bees and the Panthers. So now we're gonna go. Oh, over to the one top. last thing about the Bruins, I forgot. Uh that that quote unquote hit of Noshik that Stahl had poopy pants about. Dude, I don't think he hit him. I think Stahl dove and tried to sell that, and then had to play the part the whole way back. I think yeah. the Stalls might be the biggest fucking crybabies in the league. So <laughs> Mark Stahl getting laid out by, Mark Stahl getting laid out by Brad Marchand today was pretty funny. I thought wow, that was pussy. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, all right. 